Moriyama and Faxon come to the tee at 18. Moriyama with a misstep at the ninth. Remember, he made a bogey there. But he, for the most part, other than a, a brief moment yesterday when his lead shrunk to one, has been able to keep a couple of shot cushion all the way through the weekend. And he stands up here, leading by five at the last. It's a big difference when you always have a two or three shot cushion instead of just one. You feel like you're playing with house money, you have a little cushion there to make a mistake. But he has really, really played well. You know, he really hasn't just, he hasn't given anybody else another a chance at all. Um, that one carried the first bunker, uh, got pretty near one of the trees in that area, but I am not close enough to see the outcome. Yeah, Pine straw on the other side of that really, really thick rough. Uh, some of the very uh, fewest patches of thick rough. Mariana anxiously looking down the fairway for a sign of where it is. <laughs> Leading by five, though. You don't think he should be anxious, but you always are until you finish the hole, finish the tournament. Well, we saw yesterday, and again, it happened today, Dickie Pride hit it into an area here in 18. It's very small, but rough where you can struggle to find the ball, and you could bring a high number into play. That's a small, small patch of it, too. Facts with the three wood. That area is actually left of the mm -hmm. left-hand bunker, yeah. and it is treacherous. Good shot. The Faxon, who, in honor of his beloved Boston Red Sox, wore a uh, Red Sox cap on Friday. He's going to finish second here. Back at 18, Matt Gogol for par. He hopes it's his last stroke of the season. This will be solo third for Matt as he ends his year. And he does, and here's the, some perspective. Matt Gogol makes $306,000 alone in third. That's about a third of his earnings for the year, $900,000. So in his last event, he makes about a third of his money. It sounds like phone numbers to so many people at home when you talk the money list on tour. It's numbers in terms of annual earnings that many people watching, most people watching, can't really get a, a grasp of. But still, when you say a guy won 33% of his season's earnings in one week, that gives you an idea of uh, how important the week was to close the season for Gogol. Judy's down there watching the last group, Mariam and Faxon. How's Shigeki doing over there? He is on some bad stuff, but he is, in fact, on it, right up on top of it. Um, I think it might keep him from playing at the flagstick, but I think he can put the ball on the green. Nice to be leading by five right now. From 167. Nice to be leading by five any time. I'm just going to answer my own question. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So run all the way back, and he'll have the entire length of this green to come across. You know, you stop so you can hear the ball hit and watch the shot and get your own punchline taken on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad Faxon got close, couldn't close the deal, and here's your parting gift at 18. This is not a sand-filled divot. This is a very deep little divot. 14. Good news is it's only 121 yards to the hole location. This one should be going left of that. Just put it back in the middle of your stance, take a club more and just beat down on it, run it in there, keep it in low, just like that. Got to get the ball first. Very good shot. So is uh, Moriyama and Faxon come up to 18 important to us, and it's also a great time to uh, introduce our exciting new product. Well, it seems like the city of Greensboro really adopts this, this tournament. Uh, absolutely, and we expect to raise over $400,000 for the, the JCs, and uh, it's an excellent opportunity for the Chrysler brand. All right, Benita, thanks a lot. Back to you, Mike Tariqa. All right, Billy Ray, thank you. A nice welcome from these uh, golf fans at Greensboro. For Shigeki Moriyama and Brad Faxon. Of course, Brad didn't go to school too far from here. Furman, over in Greenville, South Carolina, is about three hours, about 185 miles or so, from here in Greensboro. Furman's always had a nice golf program and a wonderful women's team. Dottie Pepper, Beth Daniel. Yep. 
Well, Shigeki Moriyama with his big lead is about to join uh, just a really great list. Well, when you win this event, obviously any event on tour is so important, it will be his third, but the prestige to win the event dominated by Sam Snead. Uh, Sam Snead won eight times at this event, including when he was 52 years, 10 months, when he got the victory here in 1965. Well, enough said. Um, he loved it here, wasn't far from home. Loved the old Sedgefield golf course that he won so many times on. And then, of course, before then, uh, it escapes me. But it's just, you know, you get familiar with fans, you get familiar with the golf courses and the, and the environment, and you play well here. Of course, he played well many, many places. <laughs> My gosh. Ho Hogan, Byron Nelson winning here, Lloyd Mangrum back in 48. Bob Golby in 58. Lee Casper, Julius Boros, Gene Littler, Gary Player, Weiskopf. Moriyama's third. Pretty sporty there. And of course, records are always a dicey subject when you've had changes to a golf course. Yes, for Parnovic when he won here back in 99, not only lit up a victory cigar, remember that, took the, uh, he's done it every one of his uh, victories, but he did that on the green at 18, but he was 23 under that year, and Shigeki has his par putt for 22 under for 72 holes, and he's in the field next week, and Moriyama's going to move up close enough that with a good week and next week, he'll have a chance to sniff the top 30 in the uh, Tour Championship. I think it's pretty safe to say they won't shoot 22 under here again, though. This golf course is going to mature. The grass is going to get thicker. Fairways will play longer. Greens will stay firm, though. They'll have much more rough next year. This golf course is not as easy as these players are making it seem this year, just due to the conditions. Now, facts for birdie. He can't understand it. Look at that. How did that ball stay out? <laughs> Good plan this week, though. You know what? He he made Mariyama play today. He kept pace with him. Didn't give him anything until Bogan late in the round. Good plan. Brad's gonna have his uh, best season in a couple of years here with his performance over the last. Uh, few weeks or so. With this win, by the way, Murayama is going to win for the uh, third consecutive year on tour. Only Tiger Woods, Justin Leonard, and Jim Furyk have won an event in each of the last three years. Boy, this is a way you like to win a golf tournament, too. Playing the last two rounds as solid as you can play and really not giving anybody else a chance. And Shigeki Murayama wins for the third time on the PGA Tour. 67, he did it with the opening 65-64. They held off Brad Faxon here and maintained his lead most of the way. And he's made quite an impact on the PGA Tour and his uh, full seasons over here. And he has his uh, third consecutive year with a victory. Winning here by five, he gets the check of $810,000 and the Chrysler Crossfire Automobile as well. So Moriyama, the winner by five. We'll see him next week, and we'll see you next week. We move down to Orlando for the Funai Classic at the Walt Disney World Resort. This wraps up our final round cover to the Chrysler Classic of Greensburg. Glad you're on board for our Sunday finish. And we're going to see you one week from today. See another champion crown of the PGA Tour, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. Our final round coverage from the Magic Kingdom. Coming up next, ABC's World News Tonight Sunday. On the West Coast, it's Campbell's International Figure Skating Classic. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Shigeki Moriyama wins the Chrysler Classic of Greensboro. Now for our entire team, thanks for watching the PGA Tour on ABC Sports.